<sighs> oh, hello there. My name is uh, Burl Gritz, and I welcome you in my new studio. Do you like my green screen? Looks nice, right? So yesterday I asked you guys on Instagram and on uh, YouTube to ask me some questions while I'm planning the big next black metal history trip. So why we don't just start? Do you have any advice for people who wants to move to Norway in the future? Travel first, see if you like the country, if you like the place, if you like the people, and then decide what to do. Because a lot of people are fascinated by the black metal parts of it, you know, but the society doesn't work around the black metal or the metal music in general. So you have to come, see if you like it, if you like the place. Some people find it too cold. Some people find Norwegians uh, not social enough, which for me is a huge bullshit, but uh, come, see and if you like try to move will we maybe see dead grave or anything before dead was in mayhem spoiler yes name an album you don't skip any trucks marduk plague angel i love every track of that album which was the most important year in your entire life the year you have the happiest memories the day i left my job the day i started to leave again i was so happy that when i went to fire myself i even recorded it on the phone to have a memory of that moment and of course the beginning of my music career. Any chance for a video with Farvan? Love your channel. I think I actually talked with Farvan once about that. We just have to find the time because I'm so slow with anything I do. So if I say let's do something, doesn't mean now, means like in one year. So it's just a matter of time. Are you working on more stuff for uh, Triglav? Yeah, I currently have four demos for the new album. I stopped a little bit right now, but uh, I will show you a couple of things uh, in the next, uh, in one of the next videos, I'm planning to do a weekly vlog in Norway, uh, what I'm doing, what I'm not doing, and uh, I will put, uh, I will show you some stuff about uh, the new Triglav also. What do you think are the best and worst things about the metal community? The best, definitely, uh, it feels like a big family. Every time you're going at, uh, at some festivals, etc., you make so many friends because we all have the same passion, and it's metal music, so we have something that's uh, united uh, us all. Let's say. The worst, I don't know, I can say about the black metal uh, scene, what I don't like is that people, I see many people still say, oh, that's not black metal, oh, that guitar is not sweet for black metal, you can do this because it's not black metal. Who said this stuff? Black metal doesn't have rules. That was the basic foundation of the genre. And now people are putting rules, like you can do this, you can do that. Hey Boris, what has been the highlights of your music YouTube career so far? Uh, many. Remember with the first album I was so scared that uh, nobody will listen to it and actually I got so many messages. I remember the the guy of uh, Sinister, the singer, um, he actually wrote me a message saying that uh, he loved the album and I was like, dude, send, send me your uh, address, I want to send you a copy, you know. And that, that, that kind of stuff, you know, or knowing that uh, people like Shannon, uh, want uh, Shannon Lucas, uh, which I have a band right now, wanted to play with me, that he was watching my channel and stuff like that. It's a constant highlight, you know. When, when you have people that appreciate your music out there and they're buying your music, it's such a good feeling, you know, and uh, it doesn't get old. Every time I see a notification that I sell an album on Bandcamp or that I sell a t-shirt, I'm so thankful. When are you making a video with Teluk? Damn guys, you want me to make a video with a lot of people. <laughs> also with Teluk, I think we talk, I'm sure we talk about that uh, uh, through uh, Instagram. Once he told me, we should do a video together. I was like, I'm absolutely in. But again, I need to prepare the stuff, tell them where we will do that. And I'm so slow again. Would you ever come back to your motherland and did you learn Norwegian yet? Cheers, dude. Yes, I'm going Croatia this summer to see my doggo and my mother. And uh, did I learn Norwegian? Yeah, it's not kirlit norsk, that's all. For which year do you plan the world domination? I think you're referring to play live with Triglav again. So I have a new drummer, he's freaking amazing. He lived in the same place where the bassists live and he's so close to the guitar, so it's a perfect lineup, I have just to fly to them. And uh, we are planning a comeback show at the end of the year and probably more shows for 2025. We will see because I didn't really like the experience that I had till now with the live shows. Who was your celebrity crush growing up? Kate Beckinsale in uh, Underworld and she still is. Favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? I will say most of them. I love him. If I have to pick one I think the first Terminator is such a great movie. Just awesome. I love it. 
Did you watch Fallout series? Yes, I watch it. I thought it would be such a crap, like The Witcher and stuff like this, but uh, honestly, I loved it. What do you think about bands using AI in album covers? Pretty bad, especially when you are a... If you are a small band, you don't have the budget, because uh, cover album costs, like uh, doing the booklet, like uh, producing an album, it's all money that you will never see again. So I understand if you are a small band, a one-man band, you're doing just room stuff and don't have a contract or something, you use AI, okay, it's fine. But seeing bands like D-Side, Tower of Penance, Pestilence, and other big bands that have money, that they literally say that our label cover the cost, using AI, why? It even sucks. All their covers sucks. They're ugly as fuck. But don't get me wrong, there's some cases that I think it's okay. I use it, for example, for Borsti and for Vision. And that's because with Vision, I'm just releasing single and, you know, I'm making like maybe six, seven dollars with the streamings of this song and I can't pay someone 150 for a cover. It's not profitable. And same with Boris T, that's a fun project. It's not something serious. So I don't want to spend money for something that uh, is just a fun project. Does your albums ship to the US? Yes, they ship to the US, but uh, the label told me that the album is almost sold out everywhere. So thank you so much, all of you out there. But uh, they're planning now to reprint the ritual, modify a little bit the cover so it's more bright and do a limited edition uh, with a colored vinyl. Stay tuned. What's your hair routine? I see these questions popping up so many times and I don't have. I'm literally the worst guy ever for hair routine or self-care in general. My routine is I'm going in the shower, I use the shampoo, I use the balsam. When I finish, I brush my hair, I dry it and that's all. In reference to your band name Treglav, are you inspired by Slavic mythology, culture, etc? Yes, I actually, when I was thinking about the name, I was so bored that everybody was using uh, demons and stuff like that, you know. And some names just looks funny, you know. For, so I was like, I want something different. Since I'm a Slav, I don't, didn't want to, you know, to go and use uh, Nordic mythology or other, you know, country's mythology. So I look about my mythology and uh, Treglav sounded cool. I like the concept behind it. And that's why I decided to use it. Koliko si često u Hrvatskoj? Not that much, actually. Because I'm just too lazy to go there. Like I said, you know, I will go to summer to see my dog and my mother. But uh, I'm just too lazy. Are you going to beyond the gates in Bergen? I think so. Definitely I will go back in Bergen this uh, year. But uh, I think also at the beyond the gates. I have to see. Are your parents both tall people? Yes, my mom is 1 in 78, my father was 1 in 85. Would you make a video showing the creative process behind the Trigal album? Yes, I was planning to do that. I wanted to do that for Patreon, for the Patreon supporters. But <laughs> again, I'm so slow. But yeah, I want to do I don't know if I will upload on YouTube or both, you know, and something more for the Patreons. What is your favorite video game? There's too many, too many. I can just say uh, some obvious, like Oblivion, The Witcher 3, Alan Wake, Final Fantasy, 8, 9, 10, then stop. Xenoblade Chronicles and so on, so many. Well, will you finally visit Germany, especially the northern part with old friends? I wish Tobias, Tobias from Daedalus. He was my first drummer, the guy that helped me with the Amsterdam shows. We will see each other again, my friend. Did you consider to rename your band Treglav to Feet Finger Death Punch? Listen, asshole, it's been four years from that video, maybe three. And you still remind me that, you piece of shit. If you're new to the channel, once I was in the snow with the Norwegian filming and I say to her, geez, my feet fingers are freezing. I didn't know that you say two, okay? I still call them feet fingers. It's much more easier. Do you have any advice for the beginner musician who wants to make metal today, start a band? I will be honest. If I will have to start a band today, I will be so demotivated. Beside the AI, you know, now it's writing out some music and stuff like that. Beside the fact that uh, there's so many competitions, so many bands, so everything is oversaturated, you know, it's uh, it's really hard and it doesn't repay you for all the effort you do. Do it if you love music. If you want to people to listen to your music and stuff like that, don't do it in a way to think to make a living 
out of it. And use social media. So I see a lot of bands don't understand how much they're important. Every time I do a video or something, I put my music there. And that is a form of uh, promotion. I use Instagram, I use even TikTok to promote my music. Use all the social media platforms because just having good music nowadays doesn't mean shit. My questions. I'm curious where your viewers are from using your YouTube channel analytics. What are your first five top geographies? There you are. My question is, what was the first CD you ever bought? Linkin Park Hybrid Theory. Is your music written more based on theory or on listening? I don't know shit about theory. All my music are written uh, on uh, listening. If you could meet any black metal musician, alive or dead, who would it be? Euronymous. He started everything. I would have loved to have a chat with him to see also how much of character it was or how much real he was. The potential of using AI technology to be creatively used in recording by musicians who are loyal to natural recording process. What are your thoughts? I think uh, it's really bad. I've seen a video recently of uh, Nick Nocturnal trying, trying this new AI to make a song and basically you say to the AI, oh, make a metalcore song and in five seconds this AI makes a song that is basically mixed and mustard. Yeah, still sound a little bit weird, you know, on some parts, but it sounds freaking real. And it's uh, it's just uh, frustrating, you know, because uh, you spend like uh, one, two months on one song and you're so proud of it. And there's someone out there that now has the ability to just write like, uh, make me a black metal song, steal the riffs, make his own song, while maybe he doesn't have any skills. So it's getting just frustrating. I hope that there will be some regulation about that because uh, if it's going like this, everybody out there will lose their job sooner or later. Zdravo Boris, are you also into a pagan dark folk, neo folk music like Wardruna, Heilung, etc. Thematically, this music is very close to black metal, so I wonder how many black metal heads are into it. If you ask me, no, I found it pretty boring. I'm sorry. I mean, there are good uh, in movies, there are good in games, so if you listen, if you play Hellblade or if you watch Vikings. But listening to it, uh, I mean, one song for me is fine. If I see it live, like in Midgersplot, I enjoy it, but then the entire set, I'm like, uh, please, no. So it's just my preference, you know. It's cool, but not uh, my cup of tea. And with that said, guys, this was the last question. Thank you so much for providing me your questions. If I didn't read yours, don't worry, we will do more Q&A in the future. So from Norway's Hall, and I will see you all in the next video. Cheers! Satan. <laughs>